they care a lot about the earth that they're gonna be inheriting. So how do we tap into that and give them an outlet to actually do something about that? The school is looking for a way to enrich the students' experience. AMI started some raised beds over at the middle school to get teachers and students excited about the project. We're making those ties between what they're learning in the classroom and then how that can be applied to outdoors. In March, we broke ground on the half acre production farm, and since then, we've grown 6,000 pounds of produce. To see that go from a bare field to a fully functioning farm is really incredible. We're working with the middle schoolers who come out here for garden club and summer school. Good job. With any content area, you can definitely tie in. The possibilities are endless. Did you make this? Oh, I made it with my dad with my son as well as the students, uh, the conversations that we've had in class about the experiences here has been very enriching. I've noticed a lot of growth in our conversations. It's kind of evolved into more of a healthier approach. They learn how to grow their own food and then with that start eating foods that are really good for them and nutrient dense and you feel the difference. So I want them to have that energy. The most immediate effect that teachers saw was how Students were doing really well in the garden. Kids, when they've been out, they've been saying more things like, it feels really peaceful out here, it's calm, I can think better. It's been like a safe haven. It was amazing how much support and comfort you felt here. I think being outside can relieve anxiety a lot sometimes because I was an anxious person but like now I'm outside more, like my anxiety has like decreased, so. They're able to still be participating in the math activity while moving around and enjoying themselves at the same time and not having to just be sitting in a classroom at a desk. A lot of the students, their food comes from the grocery store and they don't really know what the plants look like when they're growing and they get really excited when they come here to just find a snack in the garden. This is crazy. Another two. So we're really connecting people with that, donating bags to families who need the fresh produce. And then we're selling it also to support the project to teachers and administrators. It's good work experience for the kids to be able to get like their hands dirty and well everyone's here together and we're kind of just doing things that help our community and it's really good. Can you get these something? <laughs> these children are not just children behind a screen, that they are active community members. That's good, that's good, that's good, that's good. That's good. Seeing them get really excited about, okay, how can we make this work? It's supposed to be over the edge. There are a lot of those moments on the farm. Getting feedback from parents that they're just overwhelmed when their kids are coming home and telling them all about what they've done and that they're excited and want to have their own little garden. Um, so it's really it's having major impact. As we move forward, the classes will look at food insecurity and I really am looking forward to seeing how they want to direct the resources we have into the community. If we give them that outlet, I know that they can, they can flourish and do things that I've never even thought of.